Hey everybody, Console Collector here. I'm back with another round of pickups. I got some really cool stuff to share with you guys today. So let's just dive right in. First thing, I hit up a thrift store, picked up a few movies and something really cool. Let's just go through the stack of movies quick. Picked up Coach Carter, which is an excellent movie. Picked up Rango, which is a great movie. The classic 101 Dalmatians, the two disc set. This was a cool find. The Flintstones Christmas Carol. That's a very nostalgic movie for me. I picked up The Butterfly Effect. This was a super cool find. A sealed copy of Jean-Claude Van Damme. And it's Kickboxer. I picked up another copy of Trick or Treat. It's a great movie. Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. A Bug's Life. Really cool cover. And then a two-disc edition of The Little Mermaid. So some good movies there. And then I found this in the controller section. This is a PlayStation 1 controller. And when I first saw it, I'm like, hold on, that's not the right wire for that. Flipped it over. Has a date on it. Looks like December 3rd, 1998. And it's an official controller. Look at the end on it. It's like a phone jack. For 10 bucks do you guys know what this controller is well i had a gamecube one just like it and i think they were used in hotels so you basically had games on demand in the hotel this would be hooked up and you could literally just order games at the hotel so i'm certain this is a ps1 hotel controller again i've had a couple of gamecube ones so yeah as soon as i saw it i thought this is a pretty cool piece they just think it's a regular controller and it's in great shape you can tell it did not see much use it's almost brand new no hand cheese at all so that was a great score. I got a bag of goodies here. My very good friend Tyler. He was just out and about at a, a brand new thrift store he's never been to before. And I've never been to it. And he started sending me some pictures of some really awesome stuff. Well, I got this bag of goodies here. And you won't believe what he picked up. These games were $3 each in here. So, let's take a look. First one was Up. Not complete, but for three bucks, I thought I'd grab that. Pretty rough shape. And then Tekken 6. I did not have Tekken 6 on the 360, so that was a super cool grab for three bucks. This is probably my favorite pickup from that lot that he grabbed for me from there. This is the Mortal Kombat Deception Collector's Edition, the Molina set. Yeah, several of these had different covers. And yeah, this is the Molina one. This is so cool for three bucks. It's got this cool slip cover as you can see and then it opens up it's all about molina very cool and then the game itself is in great shape awesome that was yeah a super score for three bucks then there was this call of duty black ops steel case i don't think i had this for the steel book so i thought yeah for three bucks i'm gonna take that a little beat up scratch but Add the character. It's Call of Duty. Then, some Wii U games. Yeah, that was crazy. So we got Assassin's Creed 3. Complete for Wii U. Super Smash Bros. Wii U. Some wrinkly cover art. But it's complete. And then this was super awesome. Yoshi's Wooly World for the Wii U. Yeah, awesome. For three bucks each. So a big shout out to Tyler because he got me all of those games for three bucks each. Now, we're not done with my friend Tyler. His girlfriend works at Dollarama, and she always sends me pictures of cool kind of collectibles and toys and stuff she gets there. And she sent me these pictures, so I'm like, oh man. So I've got a whole little bundle of Mario figures here. So let's take a look at what I got. These are the 2.5 Jax figures. We got Mario, Blue Yoshi. Wendy. Another Blue Yoshi. Another Blue Yoshi. A. Is that a Cheap Cheap? I can't remember his name. I think it's the green one, like Cheap Cheap. And then another Mario. Then a Boo. A Boo. 
and a boo. Now, why do I need all these? Well, I'm going to give most of them to my kid because he loves Mario figures. But I really like having just little cool figures like this to decorate the game room, especially the boos. So that's pretty sweet. So yeah, shout out to my good friend Tyler and his girlfriend for hooking me up. His girlfriend and Tyler actually went to the U.S. earlier in 2022 and they're the ones that got me the mcdonald's display down there if you guys remember that or saw that pick a video so yeah they're super good friends of mine and i appreciate everything they do to help me build the collection so get those out of the way i picked up this switch game called ghost parade from a friend of mine panda queen she's been on this channel once she was just selling off some games she doesn't play anymore and yeah grabbed a ghost parade from her for 20 bucks so pretty happy with that and now i got some other brand new games here they were having a sale on amazon and i just uh grabbed a few things so let's check it out first thing i picked up was the pac-man museum 14 games included for switch then i heard a lot of people talking about how great this atari 50 was it was on sale so i grabbed that then i got some new vr games off amazon they're pal version but fortunately the vr for the playstation is region free so i was able to get these to play but this is torn then Super Stardust Ultra VR. Don't know much about it, but I think this was like 10 bucks or something, so I grabbed it. And this one I'm excited about. It's Drunken Bar Fight. Basically, you just go in this like virtual bar and beat people up. Sounds kind of fun. And then for PS5, I picked up Madison, the Possessed Edition. I'm always looking for good horror games, and this one looked pretty dang good, so happy to grab that. Then I grabbed some other random things off Amazon. This was super cool, but Rocco's Modern Life, the complete series. Yeah, that was awesome. I've missed that show. And I found this DVD on sale there I was looking for. This is Jean-Claude Van Damme double feature with Lionheart and Black Eagle. This may raise some questions, but this is Sabrina the Teenage Witch, the complete series. I really liked this show when I was younger. And then this is definitely the coolest show I picked up this whole video. This is the Earthworm Jim complete series. And it has the Dan Castle, Castle Netta, is that how you say that? He voices Homer Simpson. So yeah, he voiced Earthworm Jim. I honestly forgot that Earthworm Jim even had a TV show. So yeah, that's awesome to pick that up. So that was it from Amazon. And then I pre-ordered this game here and it came in. It's Joe and Mac, Caveman Ninja. The basic, basically it's a remake of the classic Joe and Mac games and I really like the original so I'm hoping that this one is just as fun. I'm always looking for fun couch co-ops so when I heard Joe and Mac was getting remake I was like I'm in. This is so exciting because we got Pocky and Rocky remake, we got Snow Bros remake, now we got Joe and Mac. We're just getting a lot of awesome classic games remade for Switch and I love it. All right last thing for this quick pickup video a guy on my local um, gaming group on Facebook that I'm a part of he posted this controller up. It's the Splatoon 3 Special Edition Pro Controller. Now, I only have a couple of Pro Controllers. There's been kind of a shortage in my game room. Whenever we have game nights, everyone's always arguing and fighting over Pro Controllers. So, I'm rambling on here. But I wanted to get another Pro Controller. And honestly, they're 100 bucks here in Canada each. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I hate dropping that much on just a boring basic Pro Controller. Well, this guy, he posted this for 80 bucks. I'm like, no way, I can get a special edition Splatoon 3 Pro Controller for cheaper than just a generic one. So yeah, I messaged him and picked this up off him. And it's a beautiful controller. I have it out of the box here. It's very nice. My older kid that loves Splatoon is definitely jealous. He got the OLED Splatoon Switch and I didn't. But yeah, I'm really happy I was able to get another Pro Controller for game nights. And it just happens to be the Splatoon 3 Pro Controller. All right, so that's it for this round of pickups. What was your favorite pickup of this video? Let me know in the comments below. For me personally, it's a tough choice. So I'm going to have to say Earthworm Jim Complete Series, the Molina edition of Mortal Kombat Deception, and of course this super good score on the Splatoon 3 Pro Controller. All right, that's going to wrap up today's video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'd really appreciate it. You can follow me on social media. The information is on screen now and in the description below. I want to thank everybody for watching. I am the Console Collector, and until the next video, happy gaming.